Five Motorcycles Inspired by Movies How would you like to lay your eyes on fully functional replicas of your favorite motorbikes from sci-fi or action movies? I bet it would be a dream come true. And you can die after knowing that you have seen it all, especially if you have the cash to be reckless enough to buy one. Well, I guess you don't have to dream any further. The world is becoming more fun. In fact, movies are inspiring us more than we inspire movies. Out of the five motorbikes that came straight out of movies listed below, you might just find your favorite. Who knows? Custom Harley Davidson Hydroglide, Captain America, Easy Rider, 1969. I definitely won't sleep well tonight if I don't mention the classic bike Peter Fonda rode in this movie. Just like the hero Captain America, the bike was meant, was meant to be in the movie is actually a hero in real life. After escaping getting stolen like the other bikes used in the movie, the bike was destroyed. Luckily, the bike was rebuilt, kept in the National Motorcycle Museum in Iowa, and was later sold for an honorable price of $1 million. It has gone on to inspire many replicas. Bandit 9 EVE MK2 Mad Max If you are a fan of George Miller's Mad Max, you definitely should have seen a motorcycle that looks like the sleek two-wheels beast developed by the Bandit 9 team. Just like the Mad Max Fury Road movie, which won tons of awards in 2015, especially for the costume and the alternative world it created, the EVE MK2 looks like something from the future. For a whopping price of $13,500, you might just be on your own Fury Road. Fival 140 Confederate Hellcat Terminator If we could mix the Terminator, Alien, and Predator together like bakers mix eggs, butter, and sugar to make whatever, I think we would make the Revival 140. We don't have to do that. We already have pioneers in persons of Revival Cycles team who took a 2012 X132 Confederate Hellcat and molded it into this bespoke two wheels rarity we now know as the Revival 140. With roughly 650 hours spent on making this hugely satisfying and adrenaline engaging motorbike, $115,000 will get you one. Zeko, Akira Kaneda, 1988. We don't often see motorbikes from our favorite movies come to life the way Zeko in every bit shares a resemblance with one of the motorbikes from the 1988 Japanese sci-fi animation. Asian. The citizens of the Akira Kaneda fandom have nothing else to wish for except the $73,600 that it will cost each one to own the beast. The Neutron, Tron, Legacy, 2010. The Neutron bike by Parker Brothers Choppers is not a replica. It is a conjuring of the Tron light cycle. I guess we got what we wished for, and we have no questions. We just need to be irresponsible enough to break our piggy banks for the $77,000 futuristic bike.